Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Picture this. The final night of the winter festival has arrived and Cedarburg is draped in a cloak of anticipation. The historical architecture and quaint shops have transformed into a magical realm, illuminated by the warm glow of bonfires flickering like stars against the darkening sky. The air is thick with the scent of roasted chestnuts and the sweet aroma of hot cocoa. Mingling with the laughter of children and the soft whispers of adults sharing stories long buried beneath the weight of time. So, buckle up, because this chapter is about to take you on a journey of memory and magic. Now, this reminds me of a classic tale of courage and unity. Maggie Thompson stands at the center of the festival grounds, her curly brown hair dancing in the gentle breeze, and her bright green eyes sparkling with determination. Clutching a worn notebook filled with the memories she has gathered, Maggie feels the weight of her community's history resting on her shoulders. Beside her, Eli Rodriguez, with his warm brown eyes reflecting the flickering flames, offers a reassuring smile. Together, they have become the unlikely leaders of a movement that seeks to unearth the stories hidden beneath the surface of Cedarburg's snowy facade. As the townsfolk gather, a palpable tension hangs in the air. The rival group, clad in dark clothing that mirrors their somber demeanor, looms at the edges of the gathering, their expressions a mix of skepticism and fear. They whisper among themselves, casting wary glances at Maggie and Eli, who stand resolute, ready to confront the ghosts of the past. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. The spirit of winter, a shimmering figure that seems to emerge from the very essence of the snowflakes, hovers nearby its presence a reminder of the transformative power of memory. As Maggie invites the first townsfolk to share their tales, the atmosphere shifts. One by one, voices rise, weaving a tapestry of laughter, sorrow, and healing. Mrs. Hargrove, the town's beloved historian, steps forward, her silver hair glowing in the firelight. I remember the winter of 62, she begins, her voice steady yet filled with emotion. The snow fell heavier than ever, and with it came a sense of unity among us. We were all strangers then, but the snowflakes brought us together, just as they do now. As the stories flow, the rival group shifts uneasily, their resolve beginning to waver. The warmth of shared memories envelopes the crowd, creating a bond that transcends the divisions of the past. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. The night deepens, and the festival reaches its climax. The townsfolk, once divided, now stand united, their hearts open to the beauty of their shared experiences. As the final story is told, a collective sigh of relief washes over the crowd, a release of the burdens they have carried for too long. In that moment, as the last snowflakes dance through the air, Maggie and Eli know they have forged a new beginning for Cedarburg. The festival grounds, alive with the echoes of laughter and the warmth of connection, become a sanctuary of healing, where the past is not a weight to bear but a tapestry to celebrate. The chapter closes with a powerful collective moment, a celebration of the bonds that unite them, as the spirit of winter smiles upon the town, whispering promises of renewal and hope. And that's a wrap for Chapter 3, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more magical tales.